Okay, here we go. Focus. Speed. I am speed. One winner, 23 losers, and IMGE losers for breakfast. MGE. Wait, maybe I should have warmed up. A little MGE could be good for me. No, 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 stay focused. Speed. I'm faster than fast, quicker than quick. I am the spy from Team Fortress 2. Hey, spy, you ready? Oh yeah, spy's ready. As you might have guessed, the big earner is all about speed. You lose 25 health, but in return get two on-kill buffs. One gives you 30% of your cloak back, and the other gives you a 35% speed boost. This lasts about three seconds, but resets if you get another kill. Unfortunately, this speed boost doesn't stack with other speed boosting effects, like the conch or disciplinary action, but honestly, that might be for the best. If the devs allowed that to happen, we might end up with some unexpected side effects. Anyway, that's it. These stats might seem far simpler than some other weapons we've covered, but this on-kill effect is so important that it can fundamentally change how you play Spy. Check this out. So in this clip, I Okay, maybe we should talk about this part first. 25 health might not seem like that much, but it actually drops you down to arguably the most important damage threshold in the entire game, 100 health. Before, you would die in one hit to quite a few things, crit stickies, the direct hit, sniper, you know, the normal things that you would expect to get one shot by. But at 100 health, you also die to all of these? Okay, how did you even fit that? Everything about this knife is fast. You run fast, you get cloaked back fast, and you die. Really, really fast. The penalty goes over! It's a new Olympic record! By centimeter. Pretty much every class can just insta-give you now, and that threat gives this weapon a real sense of excitement, tension. You really have to be careful when you're getting in, since a team with any amount of awareness is not going to tolerate your French misdeeds. But if by some miracle you do manage to perfectly slip behind enemy lines, wait for the perfect moment, and line up the perfect stab, once you swing that knife, all eyes will be on you. Spy! Now at this point, you've got two options. You can live out your fantasies as a spy man and go for the craziest chain stab anyone in that server has ever seen. Or you could take the more practical option and run for your life! I gotta be honest with you, using this weapon turns the whole game into a kind of choose-your-own-adventure situation. Your new max health essentially has you walking on a tightrope the whole time, so your entire experience is gonna hinge on what you do with that speed boost. And as I'm sure you've guessed by this point in the series, this isn't your typical tutorial. What, do you think we were gonna give you practical advice? Well, sorry, I'm not Uncle Dane, so let's talk about how a real Manco mercenary uses the big earner. Okay, how was that? That was good. Yeah, I think we got it. But really quick, before we keep going, I just got an email from corporate. Oh yeah? What'd they say? Uh, they want you to take the safer option. <laughs> really? They want me to talk about playing it safe. They know what channel this is going on, right? I know, I know. But I'm looking at it right here, and it says, You need to set a good example for the kids that watch your videos, or else they're going to be cutting our funding. Seriously, they're not all kids. My analytics say that my viewers are mostly... Okay, that's fair. Alright, fine. Let's talk about playing it safe, but it's still my show. Sorry. Our show. So if this turns out to be lame, I'm still going to talk about the other option. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's a first. Fuck you. Right, let's keep going. Mike's hot in three, two. A lot of Spice theme involves being a slippery little bastard, and the Big Earner takes that to the next level. The speed boost combined with the extra cloak on kill makes this the perfect getaway tool. In this clip, I'm going to decloak way behind enemy lines. I just want to make absolutely sure that nobody sees me, and I'm going to try and go for somebody here and get the sentry. Uh, my team might blow my cover at... Uh, hey, bro, you got something on your back. You mind turning around for me? Roll a deception check. Natural 20. Are you serious? Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Uh, anyway, I'd stab it, sap it, and then get out with the speed boost. Here's another good example. So in this clip, I'm going to go for the medic. So I'm going to decloak when nobody's looking, walk up, get the key pick, and then make like a World of Warcraft rogue and get out of there. They're all looking for me. Hunters are throwing around flares like nobody's business. And I even bumped this demo accidentally here. But because I had the speed boost, I was able to get out. 
because I made the decision to play passively, the game rewarded me and I'm able to get another pick on the sniper. Wow, corporate, a bit heavy handed, don't you think? Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm watching their spawn wave closely here just to make sure that it's safe to decloak. And once I'm sure, I go ahead and decloak. And this guy was just sitting in spawn for like 30 seconds, apparently. So I'm just gonna matador him, extend the speed boost with one more stab, and then make a big jump. Just barely make it out with the speed boost. I'm kind of coming around on this. This can actually be pretty exciting. Also, fun fact the extra cloak isn't gained in the same way that you would get the cloak from an ammo pack, which means that if you wanted to all but guarantee a getaway, you could even use this. Oh, seriously? I know, just read the lines. You could even use this with the Deadbringer. In this clip, I get two stabs on people that I guess just don't have ears, and then I pull out the Deadbringer to make my getaway. And so I'm just gonna jump down here, and normally I would have to wait or pick a better spot to decloak, but since I'm using the big earner, I can just decloak behind more people that don't have ears get two stabs, and then look, it's already recharged. If there was somebody chasing me, I would have gotten away. As weird and volatile as this weapon can be, this playstyle, when done right, can be consistently effective. Seriously, using your speed boost to escape is a completely viable strategy if you're a bitch. If you want to be consistently effective, just use the stock knife. Or how about this better idea? Pick better spy. I don't care what's effective. That's lame as hell. This is the time for cool shit. So you know what? Fuck this. I'm running this back. Let's talk about how a real Manco mercenary uses the bigger. For real this time. Using the speed boost to get out? That's stupid. Instead, use the speed boost to go back in. I mean, seriously, look at all these backs just asking to be stabbed. Like, how could you not just... What, huh? What just happened? Are we still recording? Ugh, we just lost power. I think that cut our funding. Well, shit. What do we do now? It's not like I can manipulate the market like I usually do. They're onto that shit. Hmm. Well, there is one thing that we can do. Oh, like a sponsor? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, Marketplace shut down its seller program, so I don't think that's an option. Ah, oh, nah, don't worry. I know a guy. Let me call in a favor real quick. Oh, wait a minute. You don't mean... We'll be right back after a quick message from our sponsor. The Crystal Lee Show. That's right. Your favorite niche internet micro celebrities are hosting the wackiest interviewing show. Join Chris and Lee as they explore the intricacies of man's guide with Soundsmith. Hey, everybody! While they explore the deepest, innermost parts of Cinny's mind. You think I have the money to buy shit? Yeah. As they blackmail and coerce Uncle Dane into coming out of the show. Hi, I'm Uncle Dane. Hi, I'm Uncle Dane. Hi, I'm Uncle Dane. Hi, I'm Uncle Dane. And so, so, so much more. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. And listen, if you just watch a little bit and bump our numbers, I promise we've got so much potential. Just watch the crystal. Chris. What the hell are you doing in the studio? You don't even work. Please watch Get crystal. Out. Let's get right back to our feature presentation. Okay, that's enough shilling. The power's back. I think we've got enough to fund the rest of the show ourselves. Are we ready? And now, the cool part. The Big Earner is a volatile weapon, and as such, you should behave just as volatilely. And by that, I mean, just go for more stabs, dude. Like, sure, you could make a clean getaway with this knife, but what's that really gonna get you in this clout-driven world? <laughs> yeah, dude, that sniper pick probably helped your team out a bunch, but how's that gonna look in a montage? That's what I thought. You're a spy. You're gonna die a lot. So you might as well just take down as many people as you can before it happens. Go out on your own terms. Like, look at this clip. There's like six people on the cart. If I do anything, I'm gonna immediately die. So you know what? Forget the getaway. I'm just gonna go in, drop their medic, and then run all the way over here to this soldier. And you know what? I got another person before I went down. Same kind of deal. They're pushing the cart up the ramp, and I can't let that happen. So I decloak, stab this sniper, make the 100 meter dash all the way to this medic, and stab him right before I die. And because I did that, instead of running away like a bitch, guess what? Cart didn't go up the hill, and we win the round. You'll often find yourself in this situation where players are really spread out, and if you feel like a getaway is impossible, the big earner enables you to take down one more person with you. You basically get a buy one, get one free, but with backs. It's BOGO backs, dude. I don't know. Anyway, my point is that trades are very often worth it if you just go for it instead of running away. Really, why would you just waste the most fun part of this entire weapon? You get to kill guys, zoom like Tim Allen, and then immediately die to fall damage, or a Sandman ball, or a fly sneezing. <laughs> 
way, fun fact, did you know that the big earner's speed boost helps with trick stabbing? Yeah, I know there was no segue, but just forget about it. Segways take time and money, neither of which we have much of right now. Most of the time, players try to counter a trick stabbing spy by backing up and making sure to track them properly, not losing sight of them. But tracking is built off of muscle memory, which is usually based off of them knowing how fast a spy normally moves. So I bet you can see where this is going. What if, and hear me out here, the spy was going faster? Yeah, most of the time people don't realize how fast a big earner spy actually moves, which makes it really easy to outstrafe them. Like this clip where the engine gets stabbed before the medic can even blink, guess what? Drop. Here's another good one. Demo gets stabbed and this other demo who's right on my ass thinks he knows how fast I'm going. Nope. And the crazy thing is, this works with most trick stabs. It works with corner stabs, going around the corner, matadors, baiting them into looking the wrong way, stair stabs, jumping down stairs or other slopes, and understabs, like underwear but with the knife. Honestly, you know what? Forget the fancy names. All you have to do is outstrafe them, and with the big earner's speed, that's pretty easy, especially if they're playing with low sensitivity. Because as long as you move faster than their camera does, guess what? It's back time. This pyro? Back time. This scout? Back time. This demo who doesn't even know I exist? Back time. This demo who knows I exist? <laughs> Back time. This sniper? Back time. This spyware heavy? Oh, you know it's back time. This soldier? Back time. And check this out. This demo? Aerial back time. <laughs> This soldier, back time. This demo, he's up there so I can't get to him. This soldier, back time. This medic, doesn't want back time. Good decision. See this pyro around the corner and he gets stabbed and guess what? Fool, you may have been able to dodge my bullets normally, but what you failed to consider was that I'm speed boosted, which means my bullets are speed boosted too. Die. Hey, single speed stabs are cool and all, but we know why you're really here. You want to see some chain stabs, right? Well, friend, let me show you some fucking chain stabs. These guys are just not prepared for what's about to happen to them. Stab that sniper, stab that demo, get that soldier, and get that scout. You know what? Forget going fast. I am the fast. Same game, by the way, and it's time to eat ass and go fast. I don't know why KJ put that in my script, but I'm getting a quad stab, so I guess it's here to stay. Yo, Ethan, let me in. Let me narrate a clip. No, fuck you. You're too laggy. It's going to look terrible. No, it's fine. Don't worry. I don't believe you, but fine. We're going fast. Doesn't matter. Okay, today we're going to be playing uh, TF2. I'm going to get backstab. I'm going to get the pyro. Uh, we're getting the demo. Uh, we're going to get the medic eventually. Uh, third time the charm. Uh, okay, get the soldier. And, uh, and I uh, get the scout. <laughs> Why did you- why did that work? I hate you. <laughs> Honestly, when you're under the influence of Condition 32, nothing can stop you except, you know, any of these. Hey, you know, you know what's faster than the big earner? Cars. No, not that car. This car. <laughs> All right, Hotshot, show me what you got. Why- what's- you got a bumper car. Uh-huh, I can see car. that. What do you do with it? It's a bumper car. You gotta kill people. didn't even look people. at you. What the heck? Okay, well- I tell you, it's great. You're at least gonna die here, right? Nope. Oh my god! Wait, you remember like those like whole ninja defuse videos like on BIOS too? Yeah, KYR Speedy. Yeah, it's uh, basically yeah, that. See, look, I like I defuse the medic. I oh my the god! It literally the other is. I think honestly, uh, I, I think the you're the best spy to ever play this game. Thank you. No lie. Uh, that scout dies too, unrelated. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, but in this one they're capping last. You lost the round. What even happens in this? Did you get like a taunt kill or something? I may have lost the round, but I won the war. How did you win the war, KJ? Please enlighten me. Oh my god. See, is every server it, just gonna be filled with bumper cars now? Yes. <laughs> no shit! We're out of money again! <laughs> Damn it! I think, we, I think we need to wrap this up. Yeah, okay, you're right. No, I, I actually- I wrote something earlier for this. The kids are gonna love it. Hang on. So, those are your two choices. You can probably guess which one I prefer, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any fun with the more passive playstyle. The thrill of just barely slipping away with your life is pretty awesome to experience, and is almost as cool as just going out with a bang. Almost. I'm gonna go ahead and give the big earner and both of its playstyles 70 miles per hour in a 60. At the end of the day, these are both totally valid playstyles. Why waste time trying to figure out which one is technically better? Life's too short for that, especially when you're using this thing. So hey, if you're a real Manco mercenary, you'll just pick whichever one is more fun for you. Yeah, just kidding, a real Manco mercenary only goes for butter knives. Yeah, that's right, bitch. We get the speed boost, even if it's not a backstab. Eat your heart out, Kunai. We're playing shitty demo night now. Woo!
right, that's it. Should go live any second now. What do you want to do with the other stuff? This is dumb, let's just scrap it. Yeah, you're probably right. So, what weapon should we do next? Mm. Oh, dude, we should totally do the- 